Hello, good evening. Hello, Raul. Hello, Claudia. Hello, hello, guys. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hello, Marco. Hello, Raul. Oh. Hello. Good evening. How how was your day, Marco? Well, well. <laughs> good. Yes, okay. So, <laughs> okay, let's see. Where is the rest? Okay, so we're gonna start, guys. Let me see. Yeah. Okay, well, listen, for today's lesson, we're gonna be um talking about um Okay, um, time contrast, uh, and uh, the class objective is uh, you will expose, well, this is one of our objectives, to an audio where examples of past, present, and future tenses are used, okay? So we're going to start with this. The, this neighborhood has changed. So here is our conversation just to open our class, and let's see. Um, Maybe the rest joins us later. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Welcome, Juan Carlos. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Carla Abigail. Welcome. Hello, Carla. Okay, cool. Okay, as I mentioned before, we're gonna be checking this. Um, we're gonna be checking uh, different tenses in this lesson. Uh, past, present, and future tenses. Uh, we're gonna check that uh, conversation first, okay? So let's see what do we have for today's lesson. So the conversation is about this neighborhood has changed. Let's see. Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Part A, listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Did you get the tenses? Did you notice how they used simple past along with present and future? Hello and welcome. Okay, we're gonna listen that again and later we're gonna practice. And please notice the changes of tenses that they used and um, we're gonna listen to a second part, so just to see what's going on, okay? 
Welcome back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here. But the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Did you get the tenses? Did you notice how they used simple past along with present and future? Stay with us so you can learn to do the same. Okay, so we're going to be checking what are the tenses that they have used. So did you notice how they use the tenses? Uh, what are some sentences um, that you can identify with different tenses? For example, this neighborhood sure has changed. I know a few years ago, not many people, not many people lived here. So that's our first sentence in the past tense, right? A few years ago, not many people lived here. But the population is growing so fast these days. So can you notice the difference between these two sentences? Which is the difference between these two sentences? You can activate your microphones. Now, maybe, uh, Carlos, any idea? So which could be uh, something important for that two sentences? So can you tell us which is the difference between that two sentences? The tense. No, yeah, Carl oh, Carlos. Hello, Marco. Hello, Saul. Welcome. Hello, Claudia. Good night, teacher. Good evening. Thank okay. you. Okay, so we have been checking this conversation in order to notice how the tenses, um, how, well, how to use uh, different tenses in a conversation. For example, uh, look at this conversation. A few years ago, not many people lived here. So that's a sentence in the past tense, right? A few years ago, not, maybe, not many people lived here. But the population is growing so fast these days. So you have a contrast of ideas. Entonces tenemos ahí un contraste de ideas. Una donde me está indicando que hace algunos años atrás, no, muchas personas vivían acá, pero ahora en el presente, o la población está creciendo tan rápido estos días. So there is a change. Hay un cambio entre pasado y presente. Es un contraste de tiempos. Okay, yeah, it seems like there is a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. Tearing down, what's the meaning? Tearing down? Well, como llorar, mucho. Oh, but look at this, tearing down our high school. So based on that context, tearing down. Tearing down our high school. Like demolishing. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no problem. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's tearing down our high school. Mm -hmm. Demoliendo. So, you now they are tearing down our high school. They're going to build. Okay, so can you notice another change in the tense? Look at this. So, there are some time expressions that you can notice. 
in order to check which tense they are using. For example, now it's a multiplex cinema. So that's the present, right? Now, ahora. And they are tearing down our high school, okay? Present. They're going to build a shopping mall, okay? So this is a tense in, um, let's say, this is a future tense sentence. Okay, they're going to build a shopping mall soon. There will be just malls and parking lots. So there you have some more examples. That's because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Yes. And we're going to be checking these uh, time contrasts in order to well, you're going to be able to create some sentences using time contrast. Entonces, lo que vamos a aprender hoy es cómo hacer ese contraste entre los tiempos. Pasado, presente y futuro. So you can notice these, uh, within these uh, lines. Okay. Well, now we're going to be practicing the conversation. And let's read that all together. This neighborhood ha sure has changed. I know a few years ago, not many people lived here. But the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there is a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall soon. There will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. So guys, can you identify some time expressions? ¿Cuáles serían algunos indicadores de tiempo? Algunos indicadores de tiempo. I'm gonna help you with one. Okay, el primero, la primera opción. A few years ago. Okay, ¿cuántos años atrás? Unos pocos años atrás. Not many people live here, but the population is growing so fast these days. So which could be another time expression? ¿Cuál podría ser otro indicador de tiempo? Now. Now, okay, now. So for the present, right? Any other? ¿Algún otro? So can you notice any other time expression marker? 50 years okay. ago. Ah, okay. 50 years ago. Okay. Is there any other? I mean, nowadays. Oh, yes. Nowadays. What's the meaning? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I'm going to help you. Don't worry. Nowadays and soon. So this means hoy en día. And soon, pronto, uh, 50 years ago, that means 50 years ago, right? Perfect. Okay, so let's see, any other word that you don't know, guys? Okay, tearing down, what's the meaning, tearing down? Demolition. Okay, let's see. Uh, volunteers. Uh, well, not volunteers. I'm going to start. Uh, Saul, please, you're going to be the first one. And Carlos Alberto. Okay. Read the conversation. Saul, you're the first one. And Carlos, you're the second. Okay, Irma. Irma. We have Irma. This neighborhood sure has changed. I'm fierce. I'm a fierce or cheese? Matt. You're Matt. I, I'm a, oh, okay. I know a few years ago, not many people live here. But the uh, population is growing so fast this, this day. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at the little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they are tearing down our high school. 
They are going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Nowadays, okay. Nowadays. 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 Okay, good. Let's see. Um, Claudia. Okay, Claudia and Irma. Oh, oh that was Irma, I think. Okay, Cla Tania. Claudia and let me see. Isabel Tania. and Elizabeth. Isabel Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Okay, teacher. Good. Comienza, teacher. Yeah. Please. This neighborhood sure has changed. <clears throat> I know a few years ago, not many people live here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's construction sit on every corner. Remember how we used to buy con candy? at that little grocery store. Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're touring, touring down our high school. They're going to build a shopping, a shopping mall. Soon there will be used malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, people walk <clears throat> everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Okay, good. Nice. So now we're going to be uh, listening to, let me see, Juan Carlos and Carlita Abigail. Juan Carlos and Carla Abigail. Juan Carlos Cubillas. Okay, Juan Carlos. Ian, Carlita, I don't know, Carlita. Yeah, teacher. Okay, you're ready, but let me look for somebody else. Uh, Marco, Marco, go ahead, please, Marco. Sorry. Uh... I am Max, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. This neighborhood show sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people live here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah. It seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. So there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, people walk every day, everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Okay, thanks. Let's see, Raul. Hi, Raul. Raul Perez. Hi. And, okay, Raul and Rene Giovanni. Rene Giovanni Martinez. See? Sí. Okay, please start, guys. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know a few years ago. ¿Cómo pronuncia eso? Ago, ago. Ago, ago. I know a few years ago, not many people live here. Yeah, it seems like there. A construction seat on every corner. 
Remember how we use to buy candy at that little grocery his, little grocery store. Uh, now is a multi cinema. Yeah, and they they are down for his high school. They going to buy and the shopping is small. Soon there will they use malls and parking lots. Uh, that's um, that's um, because every has a car. Fifty years year ago, people walked everywhere. Now nowadays, they drive. Mm -hmm. They drive. Okay, good. Let's see. So we'll continue. Um, let me see. We're gonna introduce. Oh, a little, what, a little Saul. question, teacher. Little yeah. question. Yeah, Saul. Uh, what is multiplex? Is a multiplex it's, cinema. It's no, same. it's a multiplex. I think it's a cinema, you know. But let, let, let me check. I think that's a, cin a cinema that shows a lot of movies. Um, Consisting of many elements in a complex relationship. So, mm -hmm. I think that it has a lot of maybe buildings or multiple things. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you, teacher. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay, well, in communication is a way of, of sending multiple signals or streams of information over a communications link. So I think that's like something new with uh, technological advances. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, look at this. So now we're gonna focus on our grammar point, which is time contrast. So we're gonna be learning how to how to make these contrasts in the past, present, and the future. And, and for that, we have some examples. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Algunos años atrás, o pocos años atrás, no muchas personas vivían acá, o aquí. So people used to rent videotapes. Yeah, yeah. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. So these are some of the um, sentences in the, um, from the conversation, right? Let's see. So could you read the present examples? Okay. Uh, this day, the population is growing so fast. Today, people don't know movies online. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, people nowadays. drive. Nowadays, oh, nowadays, people drive their cars instead. Instead, instead. In, oh, instead, instead, instead. Okay, and Marco Antonio, future. Okay. Um, future. Soon there will be apartment blocks everywhere. In a few years movie theaters might not exist people are going to have self-driving cars in the future mm -hmm. and i think we were talking about something similar yeah okay so uh, look at this um i want you to notice which are some of the um, tenses that we use and which are some of the expressions that we use to talk about these uh contrast to talk about time contrast for example in the past tense uh, we normally use uh, expressions like a few years ago these are just three examples but we have more okay a few years ago used to people used to i used to um let's say i used to go let's say go on foot to school a 
okay? Solía ir a, a pie a la escuela. So now people uh, pay the, the bus or uh, let's say ask for an Uber, right? Or any driver. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere, yeah. And for the present, what are the expressions that we have for the present? These days. Uh-huh, these today, days, today, and no, nowadays. No, no. Nowadays. Okay, these days means estos días, hoy, hoy, in, well, today, not today, right? No estamos refiriendo al tiempo, hoy en día, right? Hoy. And nowadays, it's the same. Hoy en día, and today means hoy. Hoy la gente carga películas en línea. Okay, nowadays people drive their cars instead. Uh, hoy en día las personas manejan sus carros, okay, en vez de caminar. And how about the future? What are some expressions for the future? Same the future. Uh huh. Expressions. So, um... Soon. In a few years. And are going. Okay, this is the tense. Este es el tiempo ya. Okay, look at this. As soon. Entonces vamos uniendo esas uh, time expressions con los tiempos. Por ejemplo, a few years ago. Unos años atrás. Tengo que buscar, uh, I have to place a sentence in the past tense, right? People used to rent videotapes 50 years ago. Uh, people walked, right, past. And now look at this. Uh, how about this one? Present. These days, the population is growing. So we have a present continuous tense. Uh, today, people download present tense, right? Movies online. Nowadays, people drive present tense. How about the future? For the future, you have to use um will. Okay, for example, it could be will. It can be might. So in a few years, movie theaters might not exist uh, in order to show probability. Entonces, el might ahí lo estamos utilizando para probabilidad. En algunos años, en pocos años, los movie theaters puede que, o sea, que desaparezcan. Puede que, might, so for probability. And people are going to have, este es el otro que tenemos, que es el going to, para hablar del futuro. Okay, so now we're going to check uh, some of the expressions. But do you have any questions so far about it? No, okay. I am, I am confused. <laughs> Why? Why are you confused? So might is... With might. Might is a model verb. With a monitor in a... Uh -huh. in order to show probability in the future. Okay. Uh -huh. Lo utilizamos para hablar de probabilidad del futuro. Puede que llueva. It might rain. Mm -hmm. It might, uh, let's say, I might finish my homework uh, in a few hours. Puede que termine mi tarea en algunas horas. Okay, but might is in order, you're going to use it in order to show probability in the future, in this case. Entonces, aquí lo estamos utilizando para indicar probabilidad en el futuro. Okay. Puede que. So, that's the meaning. Okay? Okay. Okay, so look at this. Here we have a chart with uh, some common time expressions. In past tense, we commonly use uh, some of these. A few years ago, in the past, in the 19th century, in the 1960s, for example. So these are just some of the common ones. In the present tense, Marco, could you read that please? In the present tense, what are the expressions? These days, today, nowadays, this year. This year, okay, nowadays. And in the future, so? Uh, soon, in the 20 years, the future, the next 100 years, in okay. a year. Okay, in the next 100 years, what's going to happen? So what do you think? In a year. So these are some of the common um, expressions. It were. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> in a year, we're going to be, I don't know. <laughs> um, many things can, can happen. Okay. 
Now that uh, I, I don't know, do you have any question about these common time expressions? Remember that these time expressions um, are related to a tense. For example, for the past tense, you use these expressions. So you cannot use uh, present tense expressions for the past. So use past uh, expressions in a few years, a few years ago in the past, right? In the present, these days, today, nowadays, this year, in the present, in the for the future, soon. So soon I'm going to finish my studies, for example. In 20 years, um, we're going to be speaking English in another country. Yeah. In the future, I'm going to, let's see. So what is something that you're going to do in the future, guys? Something? Something that you're going to do in the future? Saul? Well, um... Uh -huh. In the future, I'm going to, let's say, I'm thinking about bad ideas, so I, I can I, I don't want to mention that. So in the future, I'm going to travel to Spain, for example. Yes, in the future, I'm going to travel to Spain. In the next hundred years, the Earth uh, will be a dangerous place. Okay. In a year... I'm going to visit, well, I'm going to finish my major. Okay. So now let's see some examples related to some, some common things. Okay. Some common topics. Transportation. Look at this. In the past, people who needed to travel had to take the train. Okay. So what do you think? Is it true or false? In the past. Oh, the past. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's true, right? So in the past, people who needed to travel had to take the train. And how about nowadays? Uh, so could you read nowadays? Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. Mm -hmm. In the future, what's going to happen? In the future, people may have self-driving cars. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Self-driving cars. So they will be driven by a machine. Okay, so you don't need to do anything. They are going to be uh, programmed to do that, right? Okay, so now think about something. Think about something. In the past, transportation was... So think about something. Give me some ideas. How was transportation in the past, guys? How was transportation in the past? The past people Some people use to uh, horses. Had to take the... Ah, okay. Okay, what's um, different? Okay, what's different? People used horses, okay. And nowadays, what do you think nowadays? Nowadays, people use uh, us to, to, to transportation. People have to use okay. So, in the present, in the present, what do people do in the present nowadays? People have to use mm, okay. Maybe People not. Up to transportation. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat that, please? I can. I barely listen to you. But you know, it could be people use uh different. Okay. okay so I thought I think you you. Oh, yes. Thanks, Irma. People use different apps. Okay. 
the mute. Okay. About the in the future, what do you think? What's going to happen in the future? Future. Mm -hmm. In the future, we will travel in a spaceships. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I want to see that. Okay. In the future, people. Yeah, Kathy. <laughs> okay, people is ah uh, okay yeah people ah uh, oh, the microphone yeah man. okay spaceships okay. that would be great that would be great. So do you notice how how uh, these um, time uh, contrast uh, expressions help us to talk about activities that happened in the past and how it has changed in the present and how it will probably change in the future? So it's really interesting. In the past, transportation was different. People used horses and some other methods to commute. So nowadays, people use different apps to commute like e Uber, in e driver and I don't know if there's another one. Uh, in the future, people will travel by spaceships. Okay, good. So you, you may take some notes. Pueden tomar algunos apuntes. Okay, let's see. Let's continue with the next one. Help me with this one, please. Um, Marco, please, Marco, read this information. This. In the 25th century, the radio and television were invented. These days, we have computer games, high definition TV, and three three D movie three D movies. Sometime in the future, we might have thought control video games and virtual reality movies. Okay, so now let's think about some activities about entertainment. So, in the twentieth century, the radio and television were invented. These days we have computer games, uh, high definition TV and 3D movies and PlayStation and everything, right? So sometime in the future, we might have thought controlled video games and virtual reality movies. I think that's uh, already in the present. Okay, let's see. In the 20th century, guys, what happened in the 20th century about entertainment? So how was the way to entertain yourself or to entertain people? We used to watch Chavo Locho. Uh-huh. We used to watch? Chavo Locho. Oh, okay. In the 20th century, do you think so? Could be we used to watch. Ciao. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. And these days, but this is about a TV program. How about these days? So, what do people watch nowadays? These day, kids, uh huh, and adults. What happened these days? Uh -huh. They watch Nickelodeon. Nick, Nick, um... What is that? Do you repeat it? They watch pictures. Nickelodeon. Nick oh, Nickelodeon. okay. These days, uh, kids and adults uh, watch uh, different, let's say, cartoons, like, okay, such as. Nickelodeon, okay, but I think it, it, it is uh, from the last decade. Nickelodeon and what else? Narnia, movie. <laughs> okay, and Disney movies. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, sometime in the future, what do you think about the future? So what's going to happen? with these programs sometime in the future. 
Marco, an idea, Irma? Carlos? We will see uh, movies with AI. Oh, yeah. We will see movies with AI. Yeah, indeed. We, well, nowadays we have television with, uh, with a different definition, right? That is 4K, right? So in the past, so what were the definitions that we have in the past? So I just know HD and now we have 4K. How about the past? In the past we have, what was before black. HD? Why in black television? I don't know white. how to say. Mm, yeah, white and black, but I don't remember. It's, I think there was another the, I don't know. white and black television. Flat. Uh -huh. Creo que había otro porcentaje antes. Pero Flat. Sí black. Flat screen. Flat. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Flat screens. We have flat screen. Now we have flat screens. In the past, we have big machines, right? Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. In the twenty four HD is flat screen. Mm. Oh, okay. So can you type that? Can you write that through the chat so I can check it? Yeah, because I, I well, I don't know much about these uh, about the definitions, but I know that. We had HD, and before that, it was like 540, but I remember the, the name. Okay, good. Let's see. So now we continue with another topic, education. So what has happened with education? What has changed? Let's see. Rene, could you help us, Rene? Activate your microphone. Yeah, teacher. Now, could you read, please, uh, this information? Education. Here. Just read the information. Education has changed over the years. Nowadays, Rene, just read it. Just read it. Just read the information. Okay. Let's see, uh, look at this. Uh, nowadays in many classrooms, students are learning with interactive whiteboards. Oh, that's totally different. Okay, so a few years ago, or in the past, what happens? How was education? A few years ago, what do you think? Uh, a few years ago, teachers use the black blackboards. Oh yes. Teachers used blackboards. Okay. So how about nowadays? Nowadays? Nowadays they use they use a reflector. What is it? Reflector. Use? Yes. Interactive whiteboards and platforms. Yeah. Platforms. Yes. Platforms. Yeah, indeed. Education has changed a lot. Well, and how about El Salvador? What do you think about El Salvador in the past? How was education in El Salvador in the past? Marco, any idea? Let's see, where is the rest? Maybe Raul, Rene, eh, Carlita, Juan Carlos, Jennifer. Um, in the past, the education in El Salvador was with more discipline. 
I think. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. It was totally different, right? And nowadays, Marco, what do you think? They are they are not they are not enough discipline. Mm -hmm. There is not enough discipline. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Marco. So now let's see. We have another topic about fashion. So what do you think about, about it? Um, Marco, could you read the information, please? Fashion has changed over the years. In the past, women used to wear long dresses. Now they can wear mini skirts if they want. Mm, okay. So what do you think about this um, different uh, dress? Uh, well, about this code, about fashion in the past. How was fashion in the past? So think about another example. How was, how was fashion in the past? Claudia, is Elizabeth Torres, Juan Carlos, Carla? The past lady used to use uh, long dresses. Mm -hmm. Long dress. Okay. Anything else? And I think that, uh, well, women used to use um, maybe skirts, right? Instead, instead of uh, jeans, I think. And, and now, how um how uh, women dress now? Irma, what do you think? <laughs> or a um, I don't know. Somebody. Now fashion is very different, and uh, we have many many stores with mm -hmm. fast fashion mm, so you think that people fall uh, some stars in order to uh, let's say so well they identify themselves with uh, a star so they decide how to dress yes mm -hmm. and what do you think about the future guys so what's going to happen in the future What do you think about the future? <laughs> I think the future is going to be like, <laughs> and people are going to be uh, nude in the, in the streets. <laughs> well, yeah, could <laughs> be. Well, it, I don't know. I think that no, today just people the, use mini skirts, a teeny, a teeny, a teeny chairs, and tiny chairs. Yeah, I know. Mm. Well, nowadays that's happening indeed. Okay. Um, well, but in the future, probably um, they're go going to, well, people is going to use a different dress code. Like maybe, maybe they're going to repeat some fashion from old times. Okay. So now let's see. Uh, we have housing. How was housing in the past? Uh, houses used to be bigger than they are today. So what do you think? How houses were in the past, a long time ago, or in the past? In a long time ago, the how the houses just just was a a regular houses. Yeah. One floor, just one floor, mm -hmm. just one floor. Ah, okay. A long time ago, houses only have one floor. Okay. Anything else about the past? I think in the past, houses uh, were made of, uh, were made of mud. Yeah. 
And okay, nice. Oh, this is an interesting one. The environment, how it has changed, guys. A few years ago, the cities were greener than they are today. Soon they will more there will be more pollution and less trees in the cities. Okay, so that's to Salvador long ago. How was the environment here in El Salvador? Long ago, we have many rivers and, and trees. Mm -hmm. Many, okay. Many rivers. Rivers. Rivers? Rivers, sorry. Rivers, trees. Yes, okay. And, okay. What else? What else do we have in the past? What else? About a few years ago. A few years ago. Hace algunos años. So what do we have? A few what years we ago, have? the park the bar was greener. Mm -hmm. Could you repeat that, please, Saul? A few years ago, the park was greener. The park? Yeah, the park. Mm -hmm. Where? Were more greener. Mm -hmm. Okay. About soon, what's going to happen in the future? In, in the, um, let's say, in some years. Soon or not, you will be the best. <laughs> mm -hmm. Soon, the. Or not here. Okay, nature will be the fastest. Maybe the fastest. I don't. I don't. I don't know if I pronounce yet. Fastest. Yeah, probably they're going to. Be, well, some bad things will happen, right? Okay. Yeah, and you were in that uh, stage, I think. Yeah. It's not so good. No, it's not not it. Okay, how about shopping? What do you think about it? Uh, before there were supermarkets, uh, people used to shop at a small grocery store, so we won't have to go out to go shopping. So what do you think, Marcos? Soon. So how is shopping going to be soon? I think we will we have the option to well, in other countries, they have the option to buy the things online. Okay. Um, well, uh -huh. I think we already have that here in El Salvador. Don't you think so? Not, not that much? I think not so much. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that's because we have to pay, right? <laughs> And we have to pay if you want to get things. Um, you have want to buy things online, so you have to pay an extra amount of money, right? Yeah. Okay, but um, well, maybe, maybe it will happen soon. So, uh, if we get uh, an extra balance, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, and this is the last one, I guess. Technology. Sometime in the future, we will probably use robots and drones for almost everything. So what do you think? So a long time ago, how was technology a long time ago? A long time ago, it was used to... Hmm. 
How was technology? Long time ago? We don't have te development technology. Mm -hmm. We didn't have advances in technology. Okay, we didn't have, uh, I'll say, too many. So how about nowadays? What has changed? Nowadays we use the cell phone and tablets, EO, Apple, and Android. <laughs> yeah, so nowadays we use the tablets, okay. Tablets, uh, smartphones. And high technology device, I will say. Devices. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, devices like earbuds, earpods, earphones. Uh, what else? We have... Uh, virtual assistants, um, my assistant virtuale. So we have a lot of things, okay? So uh, far in the future, um, let's think about it, far in the future. Un futuro lejano, so what? what far if... in the future, we, we're gonna use uh, uh, lighters. Hmm? We're going to use? Lighters. We use for that? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Flyers. I think that's the microphone. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going to use fly flying cars. Okay, so just let me go with this. Flying it, cars. It, what it, else? Uh huh. There is a coffee machine. Um, for in the future, coffee machines? No, actually, there is a meat coffee machine. Uh-huh. So now what we sí. sí. and notice and then notice salió. So what is the name of that? Coffee? No. Carne. Meat. Meat. Oh, Meat. really? Sí. Mm. Ya no van a utilizar carne de animales, sino que la van a hacer en una máquina. My goodness. <laughs> And I love vaquitas. <laughs> so vaquitas are gonna get exp are gonna be expensive. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, not no, good. Mm -hmm. no, I don't okay, think... and, and the people is going to build build houses in the universe. Oh, in yeah, the, in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could be. I think. Okay, so we're gonna eat artificial meat. You yeah, know, I don't like that idea. Uh, probably far in the future, people are going to use chips, maybe, maybe, uh, because there are some scientists, you know, that are creating like, well, trying to, uh, you know, uh, create some chips that you can insert with uh, some high-tech developments then you are going to be able to learn a lot right if you get these like chips but this is not allowed okay this is not allowed right so that is not allowed nowadays so far in the future it could happen but i don't know so it could happen okay nice and let's see what time okay it's almost time so just let's finish this um, activity. In this exercise, so you can practice the correct use of the verbs, read carefully and fill in the blanks with verbs in parentheses. In 20 years, what's going to happen in 20 years? What do you think, guys? In 20 years. Mm 
we have to add um, the correct form of the verb in these uh, spaces. In 20 years. I've been. I'll be. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. I am. Perfect. Christmas. Was um yes was. Mm, was no, it has happened. It hasn't happened yet. Um. Use a present tense, a present form. For example, is going to be. Or will uh, Christmas will be on Saturday this year? It could be, yeah. Or it's going to be. It's going to be. Okay, on Saturday this year. Jack likes. Just missing to write. So Jack likes to go, oh, no, we don't have to have that. Okay, Jack likes going dancing. Last week, he, what do you think? Last week, he went. Yes, went. he went to a disco and What is the past tense for this verb? Spend. Past tense? Spent. Okay, perfect. Spent for hours there. Bye for now. I. Will see. Mm -hmm. I will see you in two weeks. Okay, so you have to be careful with that, right? So in 20 years, so we're talking about the future. So um, we all have to um, check the time expression, right? So in 20 years, to talk about the future. In 20 years, I will be 45. Now, for the present, I am 25. Christmas is going to be on Saturday this year. Um, okay, so you're talking about a present, a present tense, and or well, in this case, future. Christmas is going to be on Saturday this year. Jack likes uh, going dancing. Last week he went to a disco and spent four hours there. But for now, I will see you in two weeks. Dos semanas. Okay, good. Uh, now I'm gonna pass attendance list, and then we're free to go. So there you have the time expressions if you didn't copy them. Ahí tienen las expresiones. Si no las tío lo copiaron, so you can copy them. Or take a screenshot. Okay. Cool. So now I'm going to pass the tendencies. Let me see. Please say present when you listen your name. Carlos Alberto Martínez Alvarado. Present. Thanks. Claudia María García Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Thanks. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez. Irma Jacqueline Manzano de Rivas. Present. Thank you, Irma. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Present, teacher. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. 
Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Juan Carlos Cubillas Bonilla. Juan Carlos Cubillas Bonilla. Carla, Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Present teacher. Thanks, Juan Carlos. Carla teacher, ayer, ayer estuve casi toda la clase, pero iba manejando a casa. No sé si me puso asistencia ayer porque sí. justo cuando... Ah, ok. Gracias. Sí, ahí la tiene. Ok, René y Giovanni. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ok. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Luis Fernando Linares. Marco Antonio Quijano e Isabel. Present. Thanks, Marco. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present. Thanks, Raúl. René Giovanni Martínez. Ok. Present. Ruth Mariela Samaya de Guardado. Ella pidió permiso en el WhatsApp, teacher, temprano. Ok. Raúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Gracias. Present. Ok, y Stephanie Yamilet Pérez Romero. Stephanie Yamilet Pérez Romero. Ok, thanks guys. Um, well, that's all for today. Have a great weekend and I'll see you in our next class. So it's going to be um, a Monday, ok? Please don't skip classes because that's going to be um, really bad at the end, ok? Recuerden que eh, son pocas horas. De hecho, casi estamos terminando. Sería que nos faltan pocas horas realmente. Y um, recuerden que se debe de complementar el parte de plataforma con también con la asistencia acá. Como facilitadores, nosotros no estamos autorizados a admitir permisos. Por eso, aunque sean como oyentes, conéctese. Y notifíqueme siempre para pues, que no, no ven a... Um, pues ahí hace que estoy preguntando a veces, porque a veces les pregunto, pero no sé cuándo están de oyentes a veces, entonces notifíquenme eso. Se fue. Teacher. Ok, ya regresé. Se cayó el internet. Entonces, okay. ajá, nada más es eso, comentarles esa situación y notifiquen, siempre okay. notifiquen. Pero eh, sí, la sugerencia es que estén conectados, aunque sea de oyentes. Ok. Eh, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta, chicos. No. Ok. So you're free to go. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye, Bye. Irma. Bye, Marco. Bye, Samuel. Bye. 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 Uh, Saúl, do you have questions? No. Okay. No. Okay, Saúl. <laughs>